Parts of the central Sierra Nevada received about 12 feet of snow in a week. Snow cover is the driving force behind much of the western water supply, which provides agriculture, drinking water, and hydroelectric power, not to mention opportunities for winter recreation. Above average snow cover blankets nearly the entire western region. Major watersheds in drought-prone states like California, Utah, and Nevada have seen more than 150% snowfall than normal for this time of year. The outlook for Lake Mead water levels in early March is a source of both hope and despair. Above-average snowpack brings hope in Colorado and Utah, and despair comes as the water level is projected to be lower than when Lake Mead was first built in the 1930s. The last time Lake Mead was as low as it is now was last year, and before that it was in 1937. Lake Powell in the Northeast is at its lowest level since it first filled in the late 1960s. Further upstream, the Flaming Gorge Reservoir in Wyoming and Utah will see sharp declines again this year. South of it, on Lake Mojave and Lake Havasu, all is well. The latest projections from the Reclamation Agency, which manages the Colorado River Basin, said Lake Mead could drop nearly 20 feet this year hitting its lowest level since it was full. However, snow cover in Colorado and Utah is above average right now, and it's hoped that a slow meltdown in the spring will help reduce that forecast. In southern Nevada, water levels in Lake Mead have generally increased since late July. Lake Mead water levels are currently at 1,046.77 feet as of March 6. This is about six feet above last year's record low. Last fall's monsoon season and the region's wet winter helped a bit, but the snow cover in Colorado and Utah will be the biggest determinant of future Lake Mead water levels. The Colorado Basin River Forecast Center said the Colorado Basin regions are having seasons that are among the top snowpack amounts since records started being kept, which goes back as much as 60 years.